No, y'all. They're really eating this food, y'all. They, 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 they didn't almost kill the sampler. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, y'all. Say, mommy behind the music kitchen. Yeah, mommy behind the music kitchen. <laughs> to be cooking in the kitchen talking about some the top five I have five crock pot meals that are easy crock pot meals for stay-at-home moms for working moms for working women any 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 of all, all everybody these are some great crock pot meals that you can cook anytime they're amazing I love my crock pot if you ever invite me to your wedding you're getting a crock pot because it's gonna be an essential thing that you use it's gonna be great so before we get started do not forget to click 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 that subscribe button to the right of your screen and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get all of your updates about every time I post okay let's get started let's get cooking okay mommies first let's just talk about crock pots crock pots are a, it's a very inexpensive um, but valuable tool to have in your kitchen okay like I said if you ever invite me to a wedding or a birthday party or something you're probably gonna get a crock pot from me okay because it's so valuable it's one of those things that you never look at until you're like man I really need a crock pot but it's very, very, it's a great, great tool to have, okay? They're very inexpensive. There are a lot of different brands. Just go shop at Walmart. I think I got mine from Kohl's, Kroger. You can get them, and they're on sale everywhere. So get a crock pot. I've got a visitor who thinks he's going to be cooking with me in the kitchen. Look at that big smile. You gonna cook with mama? We gonna cook? Can you say mama? Can you say mama? No. Okay, moms. Let's talk about what we're gonna make. Today, we're gonna be making three meals, but one of the meals actually can turn into two additional meals. So it's gonna be five all together, but we're gonna be working with three crock pots, okay? So the first meal is going to be pulled chicken, which is, can, is the one that can turn into two additional meals. We're gonna do pulled chicken sandwiches, pulled barbecue chicken sandwiches, and then we can turn it into either um, barbecue potatoes or chicken barbecue nachos. Two. The next one is going to be roast beef. We're gonna make a roast beef in the crock pot. We're gonna put some potatoes in there and some carrots and some vegetables. It's gonna be really good. And the last one is going to be a meatloaf. Really, 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 really good. Now, mommy, one last thing before I get started is understand that these meals, the reason why we cook them in the crock pot is because the crock pot is going to cook all day. All you simply do is cut up your vegetables, cut up all your stuff, dump everything in the crock pot, turn it on, and you go. Okay, and also when it's done, it's gonna be very, very tender. Okay, I know I said a roast beef. Most people would be like, kids can't eat roast beef, but if you cook it in a crock pot, that cook all day, it's gonna get really, really tender where it's like literally falling apart and they, they're, they, they're able to chew it up. Okay, so let's get started. Crock pot meal. Okay, people, so the first thing we're gonna start with is the chicken. Okay, we're gonna season it, get it in the crock pot, and get the onions and the little vegetables in there with it, and let that start cooking. Okay. Let's do the chicken. Okay, people, we're gonna start with the chicken. So what I do is I normally, it's chicken. This does not have to be thawed out, people. It does not have to be thawed out. You just throw your chicken in there. I usually do three, three chicken breasts. Where's my hands off? Oh, and I did wash my hands, people. First things first, always wash your hands. And first we're going to season it with some accent. Throw some accent all in there. We're gonna do some black pepper. And we're gonna do some salt probably a lot of salt but it's okay and kind of put it in there now the goal what I usually try to do is because I don't like my chicken super super um, watery so I try to kind of fill it up halfway because it is still frozen and as it thaws out it's going to um, create its own so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and then we're gonna cut up some onions throw some onions in there and let it cook Okay, people, onions are in there, water is in there, chicken is nice and seasoned. Let's get it on. First crock pot meal is on and cooking. Next meal we've got is our roast. So delicious, it's gonna be so delicious. Um, again, this does not have to be thawed out, people. It does not have to be thawed out. So what we're gonna do first is go ahead and season. So I like to season the top and the bottom of it. 
My mommy just taught me that. No specific reason why. I just like to. <laughs> so we're gonna season it really good and rub it in here. Make sure we get the sides and everything nice and rubbed. And people, I did wash my hands from the last one because that was a different raw meat. Just want to make sure that we don't do any cross contamination or anything. I don't know if you can cross contaminate with meats, but just to be safe, we wash our hands. Okay, so we went ahead. We're gonna go ahead and rub all of this in, like my mommy taught me how to do. Make sure it's nice and seasoned. And we're gonna pick this up and get ready to put this right in here. Now I've already put water in here, and we you fill it up so that the roast beef is totally submerged in water. I've already cut up some onions, some green peppers, and some carrots. So we're gonna go ahead and toss this stuff on in there as well. Nothing, no specific order. The best thing about crock pots, you just dump it all in there. Okay, so that's the next one. Dump it in there, cut it on. Okay, people, it is meatloaf time. Now, this must be thought out, <laughs> okay? Your ground beef has to be thought out because you have to mush it and it put mush all, all the stuff together and form a loaf okay has to be thought out so first we are going to cut up some onions I normally put green peppers in here too but I don't have any today I used it for the um, for the roast so it's okay well but we normally do use green peppers in here as well okay I think that's enough onions and then egg gonna crack an egg in here we are going to go ahead and season we've got salt accent and we've got pepper so so good red crumbs I like to kind of dip just put every just put it all on top and then mush so you don't have to keep because once you start mushing, your hands are going to get kind of nasty. And you just wash your hands. And again, people, I wash my hands before doing this one as well. Okay. And then last thing mom taught me is ketchup. Okay. So, let's take it. We're going to mush it. Mush it. Mush it. Maybe I should have taken this necklace off. Okay, it was a little loose with the egg, so we added some more breadcrumbs. So hopefully this will help tighten it up so that we can get it into a loaf. Nice and firm loaf. All right, people, we have got it nice and firm. It's time to mold into a loaf. Okay, so what I like to do is kind of start with this shape. I don't really know what this shape is, but I kind of like to start with this shape and then work my way head down and in to get my loaf. So I'm patting. And no, I'm not sick. It's just allergies, people. Just allergies. So we pat, shape, shape, and then go in and pat down. And we have wait a minute, our nicely assembled meatloaf that is ready to go in the crock pot. Okay, let's get it in here. We're gonna pour just a small cup of water in there. We're gonna take our meatloaf and pick it up without messing up the mold. And we're gonna sit it right on in there, like that. Okay. I've also cut up some um, potatoes. We're gonna put some potatoes around this. So those can cook, that's just a good side choice. And more. That's in there like that. And we're gonna put the top on it and we're gonna let it start cooking. And then later we'll come back and add some gravy in there. And then also we're gonna add some Campbell's French onion um, soup in our roast, okay? So here is our uh, meatloaf. I did go in and season my potatoes and just add some extra breadcrumbs. On top of that, we've got our roast. 
that's in there cooking that's hot and we've got our chicken so we will be back people at mid swing okay people we are at mid swing now so we have been on for about two hours now and the chicken is looking mighty good we have drained some water out of the rose because we're gonna get ready to put in our soup and then meatloaf is looking amazing as well okay so now we are going carson sorry child so now we're gonna take our french onion soup campbell's french onion soup and we're gonna pour this all in here plenty of juices flowing and we're gonna put the top back on that one and finish letting that cook and then now we are going to take our beef gravy and pour our gravy on our meatloaf two steps and finish letting that cook we'll be back Okay, people, we are four hours in, and our chicken, oh, that stain. Our chicken is looking mighty good after we poured the um, soup in on that, the French onion, and that, that is looking well. And we got our meatloaf, and then potatoes looking mighty good. Okay, y'all, we'll be back. Looking good. Okay, people, we are seven hours in, and we are all done. Look at that, look at that pot roast sitting up there nice on there. And we've already kind of started eating on stuff. So that's why that's kind of looking like that. Let's taste test some stuff. Okay, people, it is test tasting time. We've got some little samples all over here. We got the meatloaf. We've got a barbecue chicken potato. Mm. We've got the, the barbecue chicken sandwich. Mm. And we've got a little piece of roast beef that I that I kind of cut off them put over here with some corn okay I mean carrots okay so I got my brother-in-law Jonathan Austin I've got my husband Chris yeah. Austin and me and Miles we're gonna tear up some stuff so let's taste it see how it tastes okay people we're trying the meatloaf first mm, good. nice good. and tender mm, nice good. and tender we've got these great potatoes Jonathan, let's try that um potato one this one yeah I didn't show you all, but I cooked the potato in the oven on 350, wrapped it up in aluminum foil, poked some holes in it, so that got nice and done mm. as well. So oh we, got some, we got some cheese on top of that with some barbecue sauce. Chris is kind of the cheese making so milky and rich. So good. So, so good. good you want some mouth? So, you want to take some? Yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> so, people, thank you so much for watching. I feel like I'm on a uh, culinary arts show. Like, I'm a chef, but I'm not. But thank you all so much for watching. Truly, truly appreciate it. Drink it up. And, people, please remember that your children appreciate you for all that you do. And a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessed.